And were you right-handed before the stroke? Yes. And how is your right hand now? Um, it's better, but it ain't like before. Can you just show me some? Okay. Can you write with it? No. Okay. Do you have pain in your shoulder? No. Okay. But you have some difficulty using it. Moving it, it yeah. Control. Junior Manuel Agogo. If you're a fan of football, some many, many years ago, I'm talking about 12 years ago, during the 2006 Germany World Cup, there was one player who was playing for the Black Stars of Ghana, and this particular player, his name was Junior Manuel Agogo. In fact, he was the Kevin Prince Boateng of that time. The ladies were all feeling him, and he was very good. He helped us to secure a spot. I mean, uh, at, at, at the World Cup during 2006. Information we got some few uh, years ago from last year indicated that he was suffering from a stroke following the interview that he had at BBC. Information bringing, uh, sorry, information reaching as indicates that Junior Agogo is now not able to even talk. He can't even talk again. And what's more, he can't even write. This is a very sad news. We'll give you more updates about that particular thing. Also coming up in the news, the MPP General Secretary, John Budu, has warned Ghanaians to be very careful that if they don't know in any way that they should vote uh, this particular government, the MPP government, out because they think that they are suffering from doing so, then they are coming to suffer big time because, according to John Budu, NDC has nothing to offer them. In fact, as I'm speaking to you now, according to the MPP, they have enough light to feed us for the next 10 years. All because of Nana Adudankwa Akufado, his promises and his good governance here in Ghana. Let's start off with the issue at hand. Junior Agogo, his real name is Junior Manuel Agogo. As I said earlier on, some many, many years ago, particularly way back 12 years ago during the 2006 World Cup, German 2006 World Cup, there was one player who was very, very good, and his name was Junior Agogo. During that time, you know, Osha said, Aquarius have cast besides, and the girls were feeling him. And then we saw Pei, when he came to Canada that, you know, ladies even lined up at his hotel room. And also, he was young at that time, I think he said, uh, 12 years ago, he sat with the 26 or something, or bomba, and pa, 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 pa. So after the 2006 World Cup, he went back to, I mean, uh, his homeland, UK, the United Kingdom, to go and continue his football. There. Then information came, say, Junior Agugu was sick, and what's more, information later came that he was suffering from stroke, from stroke, young guy, only 40 years, stroke, actual, a very sad one. So when this thing came, for it to be evident, they interviewed him on BBC, and it was a very, very, very sad, I said, I hope, I play now, with me, a bobo ye, the carrier, I bear shots, all because of stroke. As a lot of people are attributing this particular stroke to Mbappe, and then in Sanom, and then, I mean, they kind of club lifestyles, no. Then most of these young people, when they are growing up and as they are in their prime, they put a certain lifestyles so a year more of enjoyment in Sanom partying. Uh, more girls chilling near their day. So because of that, you know, it will keep most of them. And most people are saying, say, this is what really caused Junior Agogo to have stroke in the first place because of certain lifestyles and not only during the time and now uh, in, Suma in the football sector, particularly in the whole wide world. So when the interview came, say, yeah, stroke, and now uh, per the videos we watched on BBC, Krano, I just want to make a or Danny grandmother, uh, say, so, as a cola, nano was so keke keke because nobody now half from half of his body was not working, it was just damp. I said, in half of the body, a woo, I just out on Sakan and cry on tissue. But then fast track, no, through the help of prayers, nay, your friend is saying a doctor's for Kuku Dam, a Yuki, and a big doctor's in the UK. No, finally, Junior Agogo has finally been able to uh, get some little bit of recovery, even though now he has not recovered fully. Even though now he has not recovered fully, information we are getting is that Junior Ago can walk a little bit and at least talk one or two. You know, those are the things that he uh, can do now. But then when you talk about writing and talking, so I make Kasa verbally a flow now. Junior Agogo can do that. And he is just 35 years. A very sad one. He posted a video on his official Instagram handle. A very sad one. Detailing how things are going. See, see another day. Life amen yame. Uh, let's show you this video. He captioned it, God is good. Mm 
Okay, when was your stroke? Um, December 8th, 2014. Okay. And how long were you in the hospital? For two months. I was in the hospital for. Okay. And were you right-handed before the stroke? Yes. And how is your right hand now? Um, it's better, but it ain't like before. Can you just show me some? Okay. Can you write with it? No. Okay. Do you have pain in your shoulder? No. But you have some difficulty using it. Moving it, yeah. Control. So there was uh, our own junior Agogo. He was having some sort of an interview where he was talking about the progress so far that he has made after the stroke. I mean, uh, camped him in the room and came upon him. We are praying that God in heaven, I mean, uh, have mercy upon him. He's young, 35 years. He has a stroke. We pray that everything goes well. So you come back to his strongness and now uh, you, you'll be more healthy. We can even have him coach one of our teams here in Ghana. Everybody has a purpose here in this particular world. Let's move on to another news of the moment. The new patriotic party. You know, for some time now, I can do so a better part of us. Many of us here can only do light as an subium. It is part of us now. It's no news that do so is back. But then somebody is warning Ghana, especially the new patriotic party and the opposition. Say, so, omuni. Now, they should I mean, vote the, this particular government talking about the new patriotic party out of power because they think they are not having constant supply of energy or power. Then the country will just go down to the drain. It is a Ghana for we are selling ourselves to the devil. The devil in question here is none other than uh, the ex president of the Republic of Ghana, John Dramani Mahama. And these words came from the general secretary of the ruling new patriotic party, whose name is John Budu. He said this. That if Ghanaians don't know, and then we should, I mean, go back and vote for uh, this particular party uh, from uh, NDC because we think says they are doing so is so much, and then we are dead. He said this uh, at, 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 at a press conference in Accra just Sunday. Anna Oche Hawa, MPP government or the MPP government are putting in measures to make sure that the economy will be buoyant again and also make sure that this particular. A power cut at a banner, they will solve it. He, he noted that the MPP has saved the country millions of dollars that can generate enough power for the next decade. <laughs> and that was what he says. The MPP is now bringing more power. He said, I'm power, man. the next 10 years, can Ghana for be to power without any cut. He said again, he said, West of it, all Ghanaians were made to endure a painful life of doing so for over four years. A precautious situation that the country did not witness even in the dark days of the military regimes. How were jobs to be saved and new ones created when businesses were using a chunk of their capital to pay for just electricity bills? In some cases, employees were using half of their salaries to pay for electricity bills. Uh, this was the life of the Ghanaians under the President Mahama. How were jobs going to be created or saved? Even Mahama's solution to do so was merely an opportunity for his transaction agents to make more money. Akufadu deserves deserves more praise for serving Ghanaians over 7.6 million dollars in excess capacity charges of electricity alone for the next 13 years he added this particular where came from the general secretary of the ruling new patriotic party whose name is John Budu you know for some time now Ghanaians have been experiencing a lot of power cuts or a lot of power outages here in Ghana but then, uh, under the tenor of, of ex-president John Dramani Mahama, Zugana was experiencing that. Thing. But then, Akufa Dubai, and he was still in Dumson, he said, I can't hold it. But then, he was still in this year, he said, Dumson, I can't hold it. Off, on, off, on, off. And then, I can't hold it. You know, if Dumson is back, at least do some kind of load shedding or tell us, say, we will not have light at this time or this time. We know how to shuttle ourselves. These were the voices of Ghanaians who were owing business and our babes or momuju momede light ahead in a year. These were what they were saying. So when this particular thing happened, no, a year the NDC, the, Na the National Democratic K Congress came attacking, say MPP has nothing better to of offer. In fact, or momu claims so mu bomba be t doom so no, and on babi see doom so as no. They have even brought doom so and now doom so is worse. More than what happened at the Mahama Sena. We now, the, 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 the general secretary of the ruling New Patriotic Party, he has come out in a press uh, conference that he had that if Ghanaians don't know 
and we should by mistake or any chance say, say okay 2020 we want more power supply so we want to vote for the, the national democratic congress so our ndc mahama will come back then we are going down the drain in fact we, it's like we are even killing ourselves or giving ourselves a death pay rule this is what uh, particularly the the, the, the the general secretary of the ruling MPP is saying. So based on this, he cautioned Ghanaians to be very careful. Pay the statement that if you don't know and we do anything in contrary uh, to, I mean, what he is saying that we should. And we don't know and we vote for the National Democratic Congress. Then Ghana, our life is going to be in total chaos because NDC has nothing to offer and all, all that they'll be doing is that they'll be chopping our money and they'll be corrupting the system to enrich themselves. He's, he, he further went on to say that if Ghanaians have anything to say, we should go our, on our knees and thank the President of the Republic of Ghana for saving 7.6 million jobs by creating a very constant flow of power supply here in Ghana. This is what is coming from the camp of the new patriotic party let us know what you think in the comment section below if you are new here please like and share this video to your various social media handles follow our website pinasonline.com for more news uh, we thank you very much for watching